My name is Maria Sanchez. I'm a business consultant. My business is Arteda Accounting and Business Services, and we offer accounting and tax prep uh, services and licensing services to entrepreneurs in the Pierce County, in Tacoma area, and surrounding Puget Sound region. I work with many different entrepreneurs and on my 30 years of practice I have met many different business owners and I have seen many uh, businesses grow and scale from local to global. And today I want to share four stories, four businesses, and uh, including the businesses that I started and how uh, they have grown from idea and, and conception to, to the businesses that they are today. So as I talk about each one of these businesses, we are going to see how we can convert or trade and our skill in the job that we are working on now into a successful business, how we can convert a product or like the idea that we have for a product into a successful business and how we can convert the services that our community needs and the passion that we have. So first I'm gonna be talking about how we can convert our skills and our trade into a business. And I did it myself with accounting I studied accounting when I started studying accounting when I was 15 years old. And it wasn't like a vocation that I had at that time as a teenager. And now there is nothing glamorous about being an accountant and do tax prep. But I remember that I just went to school because it was something that it was highly employable. So I went to a canonic school and then I did a, a college degree in accounting and business management. And that's how my career in business and my experience started. And at the beginning, I was working for different companies. I gained my, my wings and my experience of working uh, for other people and learning and and understanding more about how to manage a business and all the things and all the red tape and bureaucracy that is behind having a business. And that's how later on it uh, led me to, uh, to found my business and to start my business at Fed Accounting. Uh, but uh, trades, uh, they always can become our own business. Uh, when we are skillful enough in our business, when we are good at what we do and we know that we are good at what we do, we always can convert that into a, a higher paying uh, self-employed job or our own business, uh, being our own uh, bosses. Uh, and sometimes it's hard, it's more stressful. Uh, it requires more discipline to be your own business, uh, bosses and to have your own business and to be employed by someone else. But at the same time, it's more rewarding because you can set your goals, you can grow, you can develop your career in the way that you want to develop it. And I want to give the example of one of my clients, uh, Flaxon Construction. So Flaxon Construction was founded by Brian Stone. Brian Stone uh, started as a young man doing road work and flagging and, you know, one of these persons that they are like uh, doing road construction. And he has many years of experience uh, working for other companies and being a manager and a supervisor and, you know, working with in, in many different construction projects around the world. But once there was, there was, it arrived a time that he decided to start on his, on his own and to start his own company. And right now he's really successful. Uh, he has uh, his partner with his son. 
and they have many different people employed for them and they have a, a crew of almost 20 people employed and they are being really successful. So from his trade, from, uh, from the business that uh, he started, now he has a successful business that is doing projects all over the Pacific world, uh, Northwest, not only like the local job that uh, he had. And that's an example uh, that we can grow from a local company, from our own trade, from our own job that we are doing today. We can become a successful business and keep growing to reach uh, farther and farther away and to have a, a global uh, company. I, I know other companies in, that they started the same way, a small company, family owned, and they, they, they were able to scale it, to scale it, to, to be a bigger company with a global reach and, and with uh, subsidiaries, and many different employees across the globe. And all depends on the goals that we have and the goals that we set for ourselves and how much we can become good at what we do. So now continuing with the stories that I wanted to tell you, I want to talk about developing your product. A lot of times we, we create a business by creating a new product or by creating an upgrade to a product. And that's the story of Novi Farm that I want to talk to you. Nomi Farm is a company that is started uh, 30 years ago in, in Almería, Spain, where I come from. And when they started, uh, Jerónimo and Carmela, they, they just started a new business venture uh, for the family. They, got, they were distributing and reselling uh, machinery, agricul uh, agriculture and machinery. And one of the fumigation uh, devices that they had, it, it had uh, a lot of losses. It will always strip and it will cause a lot of problems and, and agriculture uh, farmers will complain that they were losing water and product. So Geronimo, they start thinking about how to improve the product. Uh, how to tweak it, how to make it safer, how to stop uh, the dripping problem that they were having so they could sell more. So that led to, to be able to patent a new type of um, device uh, like uh, the, the mouth or the sprinkler and is the base of the business today. So 30 years later Fast forward, they are in many different countries. They are all over Spain, they are in Australia, they are in Chile, they are in South Africa, Morocco, Chipre, Israel, almost everywhere in, in, the, in, the, in the globe. And it seems like a, a small business, you know, a business venture that to Regular people started in back in Spain in a small town that nobody normally hears about. It, it has become a global distributor with distributors in, in many different countries. And, and that's uh, what is uh, uh, the important thing about going from local to global that is coming in stages. Uh, you start by looking at your product, looking how you can improve, looking what the needs are for your clients, what their pain points are, and improving the product that you are offering them. Um, a lot of people may think that, you know, developing a brand new product needs to come, like inventing something new, but sometimes just by improving what you have already or what is there, you can pump it like that technology or that improvement and create your own product. That's the same thing that this company did. You know, they, 
uh, fumigation devices and pistols they are no new they are many different types in the market but uh, yours is unique in the improvement that they did in in how efficient it is and by making it more efficient by really trying to improve the product uh, the product and then by listening to their clients and their needs they have been able to develop other products as well for them to make it more efficient more time saving or by uh, giving them more tools for the tasks that they need to do and that's uh, the same thing when we are trying to grow our business in any type of industry or in, or in any sector with whatever product we have. We are going to start with what is in the market, we are going to look at it, we are going to talk with our clients and we are going to see how we can improve it, what we can do that is better so we can grow and then not only have clients in our local markets or in the geographical area that we are but we are gonna look into how to distribute our product somewhere else how to create a chain of distributors and assign territories or how simply introduce uh, in a new market and introducing a, a new market sometimes it can be scary but there are many resources that entrepreneurs can use to, to partner and to go into, into a new market or to become more aware, uh, like introducing a product into a new market, uh, whether it's uh, by territory or, or it is by introducing a new line or service. Um, now we found today is really really successful uh, and they have been able to become a, a local brand yes coming from a little small city agricultural city uh, into the global world and you know, here in the pacific northwest they are also many other uh, companies that we know today that they have gone from being a local place to be a a global conglomerate. We can talk about Casco, we can talk about the Starbucks, the Starbucks, and um, it's all the same story. It's stay, listen to your, uh, stay close to your customers, listen to them, listen to their needs, and then scale what you do uh, to make it better. And the next example that I want to talk about is what I do is grow to your community and I want to talk about community because a lot of times uh, when we are growing a business we need to see where our business is in regards to our community what the community needs in my case with Arthur Accounting and Business Service I the reason I, I started this uh, business it was to support Spanish speaking entrepreneurs a lot of time uh, when you speak a, a second language you feel insecure with yourself and, and if you have a business or you are a business owner and many of Spanish speaking uh, people they are real entrepreneurs they, they know their trade or they have a wonderful product but they feel uh, insecure about how to deal with all the red tape and all the bureaucracy and all the requirements of having a business and I was always involved with my community I always have been helping people around and I started counseling people and saying oh this is how you do or doing things for them and that was original federal business services I decided to, instead of yeah, do it uh, as, a, as a service or as a help to friends, I started just doing it as a, as a business. And I started because it was a need that was there in my community, between my friends, between the people that I knew in the area where I knew. And now I, I support 
many different type of business and entrepreneurs, not only in the in the Puget Sound area or the area where I live, but also in other parts of the United States and abroad. And when we are helping clients, uh, you always need to think what their needs are and what uh, expertise I can bring to them. And with, uh, as we look at our communities and we try to assess the needs of our communities and our expertise and how we can help them, we can find what we are good at and we can help them. And that's what I'm doing in Arcela, trying to see what expertise I have, where I can help, and just uh, make myself available for it. Uh, and see how I can help my community to grow and to prosper. And the last uh, uh, example that I want to uh, to discuss or how to go from local to global is uh, grow your passion and everyone has a different passion for me my passion is education um, and I'm also really passionate about a uh, community but the thing is that one of the most important ways that we we communicate and we build communities through language. And I believe that being bilingual has opened me a lot of doors um, and also a lot of opportunities to interact with different people and in different places. And I want uh, to be able to do that and to offer that uh, to other children, not only here in the United States, but also abroad in Latin America and other countries. And that's why I founded Auliti. Uh, I didn't found Auliti trying to do a business. I founded Auliti because it was my passion. But at the same time, it's a, it's a business enterprise and it's uh, growing wonderfully. We are adding people to our team and we are uh, spreading and getting things uh, uh, ready for next year which is really exciting and we have a lot of things coming for us in in Auliti and while Auliti was born out of passion uh, it's really rewarding to see it coming uh, to see it growing and how it's developing so whatever your passion is see what your passion is see what your interest is see what change you want to do in the world and what you can contribute to that change in the world because the change that you want to make, it may start small, it can start local but it really can affect what the, what is happening in the world at a global level. And thank you for, uh, for listening and thank you for the support that you do to uh, for small businesses. And remember to grow your trade, grow your product, grow your community, and grow your passion, and go from local to global. Thank you.